So we have arrived at Lake Motosu and it's kind of difficult in this area because it's quite high going to the shore and any mistake you make you're gonna fall down there and if you survive it will be very painful so there's a drop there but wow this is so clean and now Mount Fuji is now being covered by this thick fog combination of fog, snow and clouds actually In the previous episodes we've taken you to the four of the five lakes starting with Yamanakako the largest of them all and the one nearest to Tokyo and it was quite fun and then we went to Fujikawa Guchiko I think it has the best view of Mount Fuji when you're flying with the drone and then after that we went to the smaller lake called Saiko which we had to traverse the lava forest to get into it and then in the last episode we were at the Shoji Ko or Lake Soji which is the smallest of all the five lakes and finally we are up to the final destination this is the Lake Motosu so we arrive at the area of the Motosu Lake this is a very difficult area so if you make a mistake it dropped there and it's a big drop so if you survive you will probably break a number of your bones so we're gonna take some videos of this area and then we'll move somewhere we can go down to the lake so we drove on around the lake and we found this view deck here and it's like a stopover so many people come here and take a pic of Mount Fuji and we did stop here for a while took some photos then observe and then we went down to a nearby camping ground the camping ground is actually quite nice it has log cabins that you can rent and then we took some photos on the shore this is our last stop this is the last and yet i think this is the highest elevation among the fuji five lakes and i think as you can judge here by eye it's the cleanest water so far compared to the other lakes however the mount fuji is now obstructed with the uh, clouds and probably snow at this point in time during the trip we were both exhausted because it was the fifth of the five lakes it was two in the afternoon and we haven't had any food at all so we just stayed there took some videos and some pictures and here are some of the pictures And finally, with what's left were the batteries of the Mavic Air 2, we flew out, took some footages, some drone shots of the lake and the Mount Fuji, and then we decided that it was time to go. The Fuji Five Lakes, though beautiful as they are, they are a result of catastrophic explosions and eruptions of Mount Fuji in the course of its history. So it's amazing that how 
such a deadly occurrence could create something so beautiful like this. So all the boulders, the mountains here, the forest, they were created by the explosions of Mount Fuji. So that is our trip here at the Fuji Five Lakes and we tested the Lumix system to get the videos and the photos of this area. Also using the G9, the Lumix G9, and doing such a documentary. So the documentary will be will be watched on our travel channel, Japan Travel Geek. And with that, we hit the road. We took the back door to Ijizuoka because we were about to visit my brother's house in Numasa City. And along the way, we passed by this ranch and there were cows feeding with the background of Mount Fuji. So Loarni took some shots here today. And with that, wanted to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on the next video. Goodbye.